Santa knows where all the best toys are, and this December, many of the hottest smartphones are just a penny with service at Appalachian Wireless. Stop by your local Appalachian Wireless to check out all of the great smartphone deals that consistently top the nice lists. Oh, oh, this Christmas is truly going to be bigger and better than ever. Better service, bigger savings, that is. Ho, 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 ho. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. While Santa was visiting children's at Johns Creek Elementary School today, his elves made a stop at Pikeville Medical Center's Neonatal Intensive Care Unit. The Central Appalachia March of Dimes brought stockings to the little ones and their families who were spending the holidays in the hospital. PMC currently has five babies in the NICU and is expecting more throughout the next couple of weeks. The stockings were filled with ornaments, baby wipes, lotion, hand sanitizer, and other small items that families may need while in the hospital. I think it's a terrible experience to begin with, to be in the NICU. It's something that until you've done it, until you've experienced it, you don't know how bad it is. Um, and to think of parents having to do that at Christmas time, um, it's just heart-wrenching for me. So we thought we would just do something for them to let them know that they're not forgotten. And it's just something special for those babies that can't be home. Well, we're just very grateful and very humble that the March of Dobbs would remember our tiniest patients in such a big way during the Christmas season. It's hard for parents to have babies in the NICU and, and to be um, separated from them, so to speak, especially during the Christmas season. So, you know, we're just very happy that March of Dobbs has done something to make these babies and these families feel very special. This is the first year the Central Appalachia March of Dimes has visited the NICU with stockings during the holidays. The group will visit the NICU in Lexington next week.